so uh, we're out here. We're about to um, join up with law enforcement right now. Uh, we'll see what they got for us. Uh, it's probably an arrest, so you know we'll be picking up a, a vehicle and we'll just uh, see what's going on. <laughs> call from a Weaverville PD and and the the address that they gave me I can't find any police cars here and um, I'm trying to get back through to Weaverville PD's dispatch but I can't get back through to them is there any way that you could patch me over to them thank you man thank you man thank you so much Well, we had a really difficult time finding the police, but we found them because they're they're hiding. All right. How's it going, sir? Hey, I'm I'm sorry. I was I was having a yeah. Here's what's going on. Um, that was actually a, our local county sheriff. And um, they've taken off now, so I kind of got the scene right here. And uh, this is a stolen car. And I'll let you all let you all take a look at it, you know, and kind of see what's going on here. Um, I've got the keys for it right here. Um, yeah, it's kind of a nice way to decorate your dashboard, right? But um, so what happened, and that's a wonderful paint job as well, isn't it? And got somebody's ID card so we're gonna put that in here uh, apparently what happened is um, the sheriff uh, found the you know spot of the stolen car and then they got into a car chase and um, they swung down here um, into this you know swung down here I guess they tried to hide or whatnot and one of the dudes got out and he thought he was gonna f sheriff said he thought he was gonna fight for about half a second i'm like yeah about half a second man you know yes sir officer you know so what we're doing right now is we're, we're gonna drive a stolen car <laughs> have you ever done that before nice and the reason why we're driving a stolen car right now huh this kind of fun have you ever driven a stolen car oh cool you do new stuff hanging out with me all the time don't you it's amazing. And the reason why we're driving stolen cars because it makes it much easier to pick it up when you got a dolly nothing. And we'll just grab it right from the front. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, let's get this driver's license right here. So just stick that right there. And so, by the way, real quick, um, so when cars get stolen and then, you know, you know, God bless our law enforcement, you know, being able to recover someone's vehicle, you know, they're going to be really happy with that. Like, oh my God, I never thought I'd get my car back. And um, so what happens is then we take this, we impound it, we lock it up and uh, we hold this vehicle, you know, behind, uh, you know, a barbed wire gate, all locked up, boot on it. And um, then the owner comes to retrieve it. So by us you know grabbing that vehicle and whatnot it frees up law enforcement that they're able to you know he's gonna go out and get to his nest task go deal with the next bad guy you know what I'm saying and um, we're gonna come here and clean up and uh, secure 
this vehicle right there for the uh, property owner, so they're going to be really happy to get the car back. Right on. on this car and then we're gonna be out of here awesome easy work Got a stolen car on the back, and we're gonna hold on to this thing till we can get it back to its rightful owner. And this is something that is actually very common for tow truck drivers to do in their role of assisting law enforcement is the retrieval or the, the recovery and securing of stolen vehicles. So here we go. All right, well, we got this car dropped off in the yard. And we're gonna take it down. And we'll go ahead and boot it up and da -da -da. And there we go. We've just secured the stolen vehicle and uh, probably get a call from the owner tomorrow. 
and they'll come and pick it up. So, see ya. All right, so we just got a second law enforcement call. Um, basically, I just was dropping off a stolen car in a lot for the sheriff, and guess who called? Law enforcement. Okay, come on up. Come on up and get another one for us. I'm like, oh, yes, yes, sir, I will. Absolutely. Now I just got to find them. again all right So that was crazy because this is like two stolen cars back to back for the sheriff and and it was the same sheriff too so that was cool the senior guy he's he's definitely he's a SWAT team dude you know you see like the SWAT team badge on he's like oh you're shooting some video oh that's cool man right on and I'm like all right cool It's a heavy truck.
But, uh, yeah, it's good work. It's good work recovering uh, stolen vehicles. Interesting stuff. So, yeah, let's take a look at it. There's a uh, stolen truck right there. It's a Ford F-150. You know, it's a pretty heavy truck. Uh, and uh, apparently it belongs to a company and um, they're gonna have a key made for it. And so we're gonna be holding on to this for a few days. And now I'm gonna take it and lock it up at the impound yard and put a boot on it. We're out of here. <sighs> Oh well, yeah, here we are. We're uh, we're back at the yard, and we just recovered second stolen vehicle in one day. This is it's pretty cool. You don't typically do uh, you know uh, recover stolen vehicles for a sheriff's department like back to back like that. It's, it's kind of crazy, but anyway, you know. So we're helping people out. You know, we're working for law enforcement, and we're making some good money too. So that's great. And we'll see you guys very soon. Take care. So, so yeah, I'm on my way home here and uh, we're doing a little uh, post video on this because there is more to the story. And um, so basically we did two stolen cars back to back. And yeah, we're, you know, a lot of cars get stolen and whatnot, but you don't normally get calls like that where, you know, you're, you're doing two of them back to back like that. And so the guy comes in to get his, uh, the Ford F-150 today. And he's telling me that Essentially, when the guys got pulled over with the Mazda, um, you know, the one dude he gets arrested. He's driving a vehicle, and then he's like, he's like, well, why don't why, don't, why are you arresting me? You know, you need to be arresting this other guy here because you know he's got several stolen vehicles, and uh, you know he's got the keys for one right there in his pocket, and the sheriffs arrest him, and you know I guess he's there at the scene and whatnot, and. Um, and then that's how they got that uh that stolen truck was they they picked up one stolen car and then it led to another stolen car which is you know that, that's great you know it's it's a great day for the owners of the vehicles excellent day for law enforcement good day for truck drivers or tow truck drivers too you know what i'm saying we're doing some work and um apparently the second guy he um when they they arrested him and whatnot and took the keys for that Ford F-150 off him. He had keys to multiple vehicles in his pocket. And so 
I don't know what's gonna happen here with all that. You know, maybe I see this sheriff again. I'll, I'll ask him and whatnot. But um, they might get like a whole, like a few stolen cars out of this one dude, which is just, you know, that's incredible. Cause you know, you see the look on people's face when they they get their stolen car back. You know, they're they're really, really quite overjoyed and relieved. But uh, yeah, anyway, so that's a crazy story, and um, you know. Uh, Thanks, and I'll, 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 I'll see you guys later. Have, have a good uh, rest of your day.